Hello and welcome to our new office. Yes, yes. We have nice things on the walls. We have a game console with the TV. We have nice new computers. Isn't it nice? So, we ended last time with... With what? What were we doing? Oh god, I'm bad at this. Well, I think we did uh, the War Masters 2 and it was a huge success. So now we have 13 million in cash. Did we, though, create a custom engine? Or didn't we? I don't think so. Because we have some new options here. However, we are not going to take advantage of that yet. We will instead develop a new sequel. Industry news. The day Venna fans have waited a long time for has arrived, as Venna has announced their new generation console, the DreamVast. A company spokesperson said, the DreamVast is a dream come true. This console is the most advanced gaming console in history. Hopefully you are correct. One thing... Oh, it continues. The new console supports powerful graphic hardware, promising graphic quality rivaling those on the high-end PCs. The DreamVast is also the first console to ship with a modern out-of-the-box, making it ready for online play. The console will be available early next year. Cool! Though, one thing that I wanted to mention is, uh, when I ended the last episode and started the new one, in between that time we got a new training options available. So the G G3 Pixel Cup, Code Jam, Game Jam, Time Trials and Innovation Challenge. These are all new options that we will uh, use to increase the skills of our employees. But not right now, not right now. At this point, oh bang, this is a reminder that we require you to pay back. Man, we still have some debts. Well, hopefully not for long. Okay, War Masters 2 is now on the market. It gained 16.28 million for us. And that's incredible. So we're going to continue with this and develop another sequel. Alone in the Mist was a bummer. We're not going to do that yet. But we might want to do a sequel to Bob and Jeff, the detective adventure we released, wow, seven years ago. So that sounds like fun. Detective adventure, let's do that. I say we're going to go with everyone, a medium game. Bob and... How are you? And... I hate English keyboard. And Jeff going to be a detective adventure made for the PC using the Supernova game engine. And we are going to do it in 2D graphics version 3. So let's start the development. And here we are. So we'll need a huge impact and focus on story and quests. Gameplay will be second, engine will be the third. So it's going to do the story and quest. Drew Darchin? Yes. Kenny is doing the gameplay and Pamela is working on the engine. Cool. Okay, are you Drew? Yes. So we have you working on the basic story. I never used power-ups before, so let's use it now and see how it's going to work. You should give us some extra bonuses, I guess? Yes. I guess that's what happened. Okay, dialogues are extremely important. Level design will be a bit too, but artificial intelligence won't at all. Who's making artificial intelligence? Pamela. Okay, Pamela can do that. Level design is made by Drew, and dialogues are made by Richard. Okay, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Just how would that work if we switched it? Ah, it would. Let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. Drew is our best bet for everything. Okay, hype is already growing. We can use some marketing as we are publishing this on our own. Magazines and demos seems like a good thing to do. 
Let's do it later on. During the debugging phase. Okay, sound won't be that important. Graphics won't be that important, but world design will. So Richard is now working on the world design. Graphics are made by Hukeni, and Dalton is working on the sound. Okay, okay, that sounds about correct. Perfect. Okay, let's start the marketing action now. Magazines and demos. Advertise in gaming magazines and distribute demos of the game to give players an opportunity to try the game. Okay, that increased the hype. Now debug, my good minions. Bank. The amount has been deducted. Yes, you can take it. Oh, look at that. 134? 5 design and 61 technology. Okay, this game is going to be awesome, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another magazine and demos boost. Anything else? Nothing, so let's finish the game. Both a record. New combo and good management. Gameplay leveled up. Level design leveled up. 2D graphics version 3 leveled up. Dalton leveled up. Yay! So let's release the game. Seller increase for Dalton. And we got new research. Oh, Easter eggs. I like those. So, Bob and Jeff. We will work on that. And the game reviews are here. So, fingers crossed, guys. Eight. Played it for days. Nine. Almost perfect. Nine, one of the best. Eight, very good. So that's pretty good. 8.5, I like that. I like that. That's going to bring us some interesting monies. Okay, we need to try this. Uh, Pixel Cup might be a design thing. Code Jam will be technology stuff. So we are going with that. Um, game Trials. Innovation challenge might be a research thing. You are also a technology guy, so code jam for you. You can do the pixel cup. And you will do not that. You will do I'm going to go with code jam with you. See how that's going to help us. Market analysis. It seems that the market responds particularly well to games with new topics at the moment. Okay, I like the numbers I see. Game report. Bob and Jeff is complete and we got the following results. Word design seems to be very important for this type of game. So now you can research me some Easter eggs. And then we might probably get the new engine on the go. Uh, do we want to get a new training round? I think we might. Okay, Code Jam is really technology and this is really design. But let's try Game Jam, Time Trials, Innovation Challenge, and... Game jam. You can get. Oh, you can. God damn it! So we're just gonna get the basic training. Game Def Gems. Proposition. Another coded thingy. Very special offer. Origins have recently managed to borrow some research information which might be of interest to you. If you're interested, then we transfer 7k. Okay. Thank you for business. Oh, we got the virtual pet! Hey! That is a thing I'm interested in. 
Okay, so now these guys are probably going to uh, be tired, but we'll try to fit in a new engine now. So, let's create a custom engine. I don't want the all the graphics here, but I would like the multiplier, the dialogue tree, easter eggs, and sterile sound. I don't think we will need mono at all. On the enter, that's something that seems okay here. Mono's experience, new game, linear storm, branching story. Okay, let's get this one. Um, hmm, serious engine. 650,000, wow. Today, the new game platform Dreamvast by Venna has been released. And yeah. in the need of vacation, we got 4 million in sales. Yeah, it wasn't such a hit. The 4 million is still a good number, in my opinion. If you disagree, it's your opinion. In two months, the new Venna Oasis will be taken off the market. You know what, I'm thinking I'm going to train you. What did they give? So this one is focused on design, this one on technology. Technology and design and research. Speed and research. Okay, you'll get this game jam. Okay, we don't have anything to promote though this time, so let's take a small booth. But we could definitely get a medium booth here. Okay, guys are on vacation, and we should think about another sequel for us. Dubit Studios, Bob and Jeff. Yeah, well, Bob and Jeff are no longer a game for us. Oh, well, by that I mean we no longer sell it. We like it though. We had 150,000 people visiting. Uh, are you guys still gone? Okay, no longer. So what could we make a sequel to? Agony <laughs> Combat! <laughs> Crazy Wheels 2. Bow. Cinematropolis. Oh, we could do Cinematropolis. That would be cool. So, how long is that? It's four years, so I guess we might do that. Everyone, city strategy, and what are we... I'm feeling frisky, we might try to invest into something, but what? Wow, you can see Dreamvast and Play System both has the same share as PC. So there's really no need, let's go with PC. Big game engine, serious. Sim Metropolis 2. It's a medium, right? Yes. Everyone. And we're going to go with the 3D graphics as well. Because I like my town 3D. But not always, this is no longer supported, huh? Okay, engine seems to be important. Gameplay seems to be very important, and story quest is not important at all. Uh, how much would we have to focus? Okay, let's not give it a linear story at all. Let's just put it to the minimum. Save game and multiplier. I'm going to include gameplay. Better user experience, character progression. Okay, let's keep it like this. So who's working on what? Uh, Drew Darpshin is working on a story. <laughs> uh, Pamela is working on engine and Kenny is working on gameplay. Okay. I'm fine with that.
Look at that research go. 